You get everybody staring for days All they see is just a young pretty face But I'm trying to get to know you much better Well hey guys, we're here at Whole Foods Having coffee oh. And it's gotten cool We've yes. got a pretty scarf on this morning I don't know if people can see here because she's kind of. This scarf came from, um, what is that called? Stitch Fix? Stitch Fix? Yes. Yeah, so it looks nice on you. Everything I've ever gotten from them has been. You've been happy home. with? Yeah. yeah. So I really did up my breakfast this morning. Yeah, your breakfast, what you This get? is the tofu scramble. Yeah, they're tofu scramble. And I've got lots of starches in there. You've got some potatoes. Potatoes and... and I like their um, kind of hash browns here because they're um, good and stringy. I like mine yeah, stringy and, and that greasy. Yeah, they're greasy. Yeah, they're not oily. So I got... And then on the bottom is uh, bell pepper uh, fried, you know, stir Ooh, yummy. Fried. And then, of course, I got the... You got a little Kale. power greens mm -hmm. there. Cool. And blueberries on the bottom. Yay. What did you get, honey? I got um, some of those potatoes are in the bottom as well as some butternut squash. I just mixed them together. And then I put the um, kale on top and the beets on top. And then I dusted it with turmeric. And so, yeah, that's what I'm going to have this morning. And I have this magazine that came in the mail and I want to look at it and then just leave it behind <laughs> to get it off my coffee table. Oh, I like Kristen Bell. Yeah, I do too. She's cute. She's nice. She's a cute and it seems like a nice, nice person. So. Yeah. You know, in, um, I obviously don't have TV, but they play the TV in my gym and they um, were playing, somebody was in there watching Modern Family. I haven't seen that in forever. And I guess they're continually putting out new episodes of it. And the kids are like grown up or, or much older than when I ever watched it in the past. It's kind of odd to see. But it's a funny show. It is funny. Um, I couldn't hear because the guy didn't have the audio on. Oh, uh -huh. I was watching it. So I'm not sure like if the writing is still as funny. Comment below and if you ever watched that show and you watch it currently. If it's still as funny as the original one. I think some of it's a little, they play a little bit too much off of some stereotypes. Oh. So, that, I could see how it would be easy to, to be offended by it, but, but it's, it's, some of the writing is funny, at least originally. But. Yeah. What you got there? The local? Yeah, oh, this yeah. is the, uh, the Heroes issue. Yeah. After uh, oh, Harvey. Yeah. So I thought I would. Give that a look over. Cool. Oh. It's mostly ads, Here's probably. One. Saving the animals. Hey, yeah. yeah. Oh. The Humane Society. Yeah, the firefighters that I volunteered to um, check their, do their skin checks after they, um, after they uh, were exposed to the flood water, uh -huh. they um, were in water like that. They were telling me. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. I'm sort of emulating the ballet look. I sometimes long for my ballet day, so I wear my hair up in an in you studio look cute. and I just, I don't know, it reminds me of when I used to walk around wearing um, uh, ballet tights all the time under my clothes and like ballet clothes. <laughs> it's always most comfortable in that. We were just thinking about um, our Thanksgiving menu. Do you guys have any um, fun foods that you're making this holiday? I know in Canada you guys are already done with Thanksgiving, um, so you're going to have to excuse our enthusiasm the next few weeks, but we love Thanksgiving, so even though it's done for you guys, you have to, you have to uh, listen to me blab about it now for the next few weeks, because it's actually one of my favorite holidays. Um, I like it because it just centers around um, one day of just kind of chilling out and being at home. Being thankful. Yeah, and being grateful for what you have. Macy's Parade. Yeah. Good morning. Yep. On TV. <laughs> yeah, I I love watching the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade um, on TV my entire life. Since childhood, it has been like the thing that I enjoy the most. However, when I lived in New York, we actually went to the, uh, to the parade um, when my mom came to visit. And talk about a major letdown. It is one of those things that is best watched on TV. Exactly. Um, in real life, I mean, unless you paid a bazillion dollars to sit up there by Al Roker, 
don't waste your, I mean, I don't know. For me, it was like a huge letdown. <laughs> it's just a, a big, it's very crowded. You can't see anything. Well guys, we're back and I am just about to um, take off the sticky label off of this um, Tusc Tuscany Candle Company jar. Still smells like lemon sugar cookie inside. And I'm gonna try, I don't know if this is a bad idea or not, but I'm gonna try putting this um, Molar CNC Whitening Factory, this um, ch coconut charcoal teeth whitening thing that looks like an enamel annihilator for lack of a better word um it's essentially bentonite clay and and charcoal um, i'm going to use it to uh, see if i can't get this sticky label off i've run a little coconut oil over it um, and i'm going to use an old toothbrush that i've run through the dishwasher here to disinfect so let's see how how that does it may ruin it but you know what i've got tons of these so i could if it ruins it i can rescue it in some manner my mom is here doing her uh planner over there happy planning happy sunday everybody it's sunday fun day but one of the other things we were thinking about is um one of my favorite like thanksgiving type movies is what's it planes trains and automobile oh, i always yeah, get the, the name of it I love that movie with John Candy and Steve Martin. Steve Martin. So funny. So funny. Um, but we were kind of going to come up with a playlist of movies to um, just have streaming in the background. Do you guys have any ideas? What also, were you thinking? I wanted to ask about um, upcoming holiday movies. What you might think is a good one to go see. Yeah. Because we usually like to do one in the theater movie. For holiday, don't yeah, we? yeah. I like to go on Thanksgiving if possible. I know or there's Christmas. Uh, the man who invented Christmas, mm -hmm. but I, I think we need one other option too for November and December. I agree. Yeah. So comment below on your favorite holiday movies, but um, both old and new, or things that that are coming out that you think would be good. Because I'm sort of out of it when it comes to. To what's coming up because I haven't been to the movies well we went we went and saw that one movie recently but I don't I haven't been to the movies in a while so I can't remember what's yeah, coming yeah I really want to see the man who invented Christmas I want to see that yeah because it's about Dickens yeah I love Dickens a Christmas um a Christmas story is, is I mean excuse me a Christmas carol is one of my favorite um, yeah remember when we saw the play in Denver yeah it was pretty good yeah, that was very good it was very good yeah, so. yeah, I personally, even though I am a nutcracker obsessive and a ballet obsessive, I actually enjoy going to see A Christmas Carol a little bit more than The Nutcracker because I'm kind of saturated on The Nutcracker. Yeah. But I always like to go. I haven't been to in see years. Swan Lake sometime in the future. Oh, yeah, I've seen Swan Lake a I couple of times. Seen it. It's be it's beautiful. It's really pretty. Yeah, it's really pretty. I don't know if that's coming to Houston anytime soon. I think they did uh, at least excerpts from it. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. The Houston Ballet we haven't seen yet. We saw the New York City Ballet. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw very the good. Uh, yeah, yeah. The Alan Sheen Nutcracker is uh, there's some uh, subtle differences um, between the Alan Sheen one and the more traditional one. It's the way the snow scene is. I think Balanchines is, is really, really unique. I kind of like it. Me too. Yeah. But just to be there at the Lincoln Center was... Was special. A very yeah. special thing. All right, so let me get to, to delabeling here. Oh my gosh, this is just taking this glue right off. Can you imagine what this does to your enamel? Look how easy it's coming off, you guys. Um, if you got the FabFit Fun Box, consider using it in this manner and not on your poor uh, dentals. Oh my gosh, you would not believe how this is just like completely, it's completely breaking up that adhesive. I mean, this was pretty stubborn. I even tried putting, um, I've tried putting a nail polish remover on labels like this and it takes a lot of elbow grease. But this, this is, this is the level of abrasion you might use. I'm using gentle strokes here like you would use to brush your teeth. Dental hygienist, come on, check this out. This is, this is a threat to dental health everywhere. This stuff should not be circulating. 
You almost feel like contacting the company and being like, do you know what you're selling here? Oh my goodness. Can you guys see that? That's what would be happening to your teeth. I'm rewatching Gilmore Girls, by the way. One of my favorites. I'm sort of a hybrid between um, Rory and Paris. I kind of have the stone face of Paris, but I'm a little bit softer like Rory, so kind of a hybrid between the two girls. Definitely not a Lorelei though. So we came over here to Crossroads. It's like a secondhand uh, clothing store. Um, I'm looking for some pants, so I'll probably not luck out, but you never know. I like can't wear jeans. They itch me too much. It's like something about the aniline dye flares my eczema too much. These are the pants I tried on and I really wanted them to fit because they're like kind of cute, but unfortunately they were way too long and they kind of were a little high rising, kind of funny fit in the top, but um, I've never heard of this brand. Um, Compatoire de, I can't say that. 1850 seemed like a good price for these. They're in really good condition, but unfortunately they did not work. Nor did these, although I wasn't really loving these. And then <laughs> who doesn't need another pair of gray sweatpants? But unfortunately these were also unsightly. They fit, I, they just looked hideous on. This is Lucy. Lucy's like kind of an expensive active wear. Um, still, $16.50 for sweatpants that are used. That seems like too steep, but they're in really good condition, but they looked horrible on, horrible. So, yeah, fail. So yeah, the pants try-on was a bit of a bust, but <laughs> that store has um, better look really good quality, really good um, used clothing in really, really excellent condition. Decent prices, I guess. Um, it's kind of hit or miss, I guess. You have to go in there at the right time, but pants are always, always a battle for me. <laughs> But we're hungry, so we're gonna be boring and go back to Jason's Deli because we like it so much and it's convenient. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of becoming our home base. Yeah, I, I just like it. You like it too. All right, so we just sat down, but update on the charcoal cleaning of the candle jars. So that candle jar was the Tuscany lemon uh, sugar cookie. And I planned to use it to store my hair bands in and it completely smelled of the candle when I had it there just now. And after just dusting it with that charcoal stuff, the scent of the lemon sugar cookie is completely gone. Really, charcoal absorbs Yeah, I mean, you smelled it right away. Yeah. yeah. And you yeah, were great. I gave it a good test, whiff test. Yeah. It's totally so, I mean, I guess it'd be good for bad breath, but also annihilate your enamel at the same time, so. What'd you get here on your challenge? My usual, except I'm trying this new. interesting little, um, it's Pickle. like a piccadilly, let yeah. me see. It's got a uh, jalapeno and um, celery. celery, but it's spicy. It's so oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't see they had pickles. Oh, I gotta be careful. I love pickles so much. I didn't see they had pickles. <laughs> and uh, uh, artichoke. And oh, those little muffins are so good. Those I know. I got muffins. I love them. And I got um, beets. The carrots, uh, the roasted red peppers, Is this peas. the Cajun mix? The Cajun snack I got the Cajun mix? snack mix. Um, and then I got some of the uh, red bean garbanzo bean mambo combo and a ton of artichoke hearts and a bunch of mushrooms. So. And I just love these uh, gluten-free. Um, actually, these aren't gluten-free. The, the whole wheat uh, grain flatbreads, they're really good. Um, yeah, they have like seeds and stuff. Yeah, these are yummy. Yeah, really good. I made a little canapé. I made a little canapé. Oh, cool. Have you tried the spicy stuff yet? Did yeah, you try it? Was it good? It's, it's spicy? Hot. I'll have to try some one if I go back. <laughs> so. Yeah, um, we're kind of boring. We like coming here now. <laughs> Have you been to Witch Witch in a while? I haven't since the last time. I went a few weeks ago by myself. Um, I, I get to hankering 
a witch witch, and I, I can eat that black bean wrap. Yeah, I got the usual black bean wrap. I can eat that every single, like every day, no problem. They make it really good there. So. Well, hey guys. Um, so I just uh, got out of the shower. I had a great day with my mom yet again, um, and. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I kind of feel like I have something to tell you. Um, so I hope you don't get mad. <laughs> but, all right. So you all know me by now in terms of my skincare and kind of my opinions about skincare and keeping it minimalistic. You know I'm a fan of fragrance free. It's always gonna be what I recommend. It's always, you know, what I advocate to keep things minimal, stick to just basic drugstore products. The fewer things you put on your face, the better. These are all good things, right? These are all the things like like the good guy, right? That that your parents want in in your significant other, the person that you're dating. And then there's the guy or gal that you just know you can't bring home to mom and dad. Maybe they drive really recklessly. Maybe they have a few too many tattoos or bad habits that mom and dad wouldn't approve of. So I have to be frank with you guys. You know, while I always, always, always stick to my Neutrogena Oil Free, um, the good guy, or my CeraVe PM, some weekends I've been seeing someone else and his name is Dr. Jart, okay? <laughs> um, strictly as a consumer, I adore this Ceramedin cream. I'm not gonna lie, okay? I'm guilty, I love it. I've been, you know, I screwed up. Throw me in my room, lock up the key, whatever. I adore Dr. Jart's moisturizing creams. But objecti objectively, I could never recommend them to anyone. A, because they are insanely expensive. B, they always, always contain a lot of fragrance. And I just don't, there's just nothing in this that I can, you know, hang my hat on as, as being efficacious. But as a consumer, I f just stink and love these Dr. Jarts moisturizing creams. They sink into the skin so nicely. Um, you all seem to enjoy my tea tree um, kind of review of that um, skin foods as I scratch my neck here with Dr. Jart. Look, look, he even comes with this like cool device. Okay. Um, I plan to do a, a video for you guys on, this is a green tea containing cream by the way. I plan to do a video for you guys on green tea and green tea polyphenols and skincare and um, similarly review this alongside of it, both, both objectively and subjectively. So stay tuned for that. I'll talk a little bit more about why I couldn't recommend this to an audience, you know, its limitations. All the, all the stuff that, you know, that you want to hear, that your parents are lo looking to hear, but um, just now, you guys who watch the vlogs, you know, we're kind of like, we're kind of like, you know, the kids after school. We can chit-chat just frank, right? <laughs> Do know I'm seeing someone on the side and can't bring him home to mom and dad. That is for sure. Um, but <laughs> I just wanted to update you guys because, you know, this product I did not buy, okay? I, I was sent this by the kind folks at Beauty Sesh. Um, so I'm never gonna tell somebody they need to go out and buy something like this. I, you know, had the luxury of it being sent to me and I'm just gonna be frank with you guys. I really like it a lot as a person, okay? Um, so yeah, now that we have that out in the open, I know you all were wondering like, is she ever gonna review that? Um, yes, I definitely plan to review this um, in the you know, hopefully the upcoming weeks, green tea polyphenols and, you know, give you some objective information about uh, the ingredients in this and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But do know, yeah, I'm seeing someone on the side, guys, and his name is Dr. Jard. Oh, dear. This guy, yeah, can't bring him home to mom and dad. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. I'm going to conclude it here. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.